Hello, Provo City. I am Superintendent Wendy Dow from the Provo City School District, and today is Monday, September 30th. I hope all of you have enjoyed a wonderful weekend. The weather was lovely. Hope you were able to get out and see the leaves changing and just all that's happening um, across this beautiful valley. I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to Trudy Montgomery. She is an instructional assistant at Provo Peaks Elementary and she received our Provo Way Award for this week. She does an exceptional job of making sure that students have what they need in terms of individual interventions and supports as they are working through their reading and math. She is a great asset to our district. So if you are at Provo Peaks and you know Trudy Montgomery, I hope you will reach out and just tell her how appreciative we are of all of her work. We want to thank everyone who responded to our cell phone survey at our all day board meeting on Friday. The board was able to look at all of those survey results and start to uh, put together some revisions to their draft cell phone policy. Uh, the policy committee will be working on that today and then they will take that uh, for a first reading of a more formalized policy next Tuesday at the board meeting. Uh, so, and then there will be opportunity for further uh, input from our community once that policy is put onto our webpage uh, and we've made those uh, revisions and suggestions that come as a result of board discussion next Tuesday. But I just want to thank everyone who took the time to fill out comments. It really gave us uh, really just kind of an understanding of where our community is coming from and what they support and how we can better support our students to create really positive learning environments. So I really appreciate those of you that took the time uh, to fill out that survey. At our all day board meeting last Friday, uh, we did finalize our strategic plan. We will be sending out links to what that brochure looks like as well as a one pager document and a postcard um, so that you're aware of the priorities. Our three top priorities are academic achievement, wellness and safety, and stewardship of resources. There are very specific goals and strategies that are tied to each of those with key performance indicators for each of the goals um, that we will be reporting to the board on uh, periodically throughout the year and then adjusting our action plans based on that. We have adjusted all of our agendas the way in which we are running our meetings, the way in which we are running our decisions and making our decisions so that we can ensure that they align with these priorities and that you really see it reflected not only in how we're spending our time, but also in how we're spending our resources. And so um, stay tuned for that, but we're very uh, excited about the direction that we're going. We really appreciate all of the input that has come from our community members or teachers or students as we uh, put together the strategic plan and really created something that we believe is a major focus for all of Provo. I also want to give a huge shout out to our Provo Foundation. So they hosted a golf tournament last week. What a fun day and uh, just had prizes and ways to donate money. There were whole sponsors um, at Timpanogos Golf Club. Uh, we had a great opportunity to just uh, mingle and talk about education issues with lots of different individuals. And all of the money that comes from that golf tournament really goes to help support Camp Big Spring scholarships, but more importantly, um, projects that teachers apply for where they're trying to be really innovative in their classrooms. And we just really appreciate all of the support that uh, our foundation gives us. They work so hard. They are complete. They are absolutely 100% volunteers and they put in a ton of time to support the students of Provo City School District and we couldn't be luckier um, to have the foundation that we do. So many thanks to Allie Conger, Julia Doxey, Susie Bramble, uh, Robin Pullum. These individuals were really key in um, pulling this off and just really grateful for uh, Connie Carlton, Alex Glaves, uh, Kayla Price uh, here at the district office that also helps support the foundation. Really that partnership works quite well and we are very, very grateful for all that they are doing to help support our teachers and our students. 
Also just wanted to make you aware that Edgemont Elementary has been recognized as a blue ribbon school. It's one of only three schools in the entire state that have been recognized by the Department of Education as being one of the highest performing elementary schools in the country. Uh, that a, for a school to reach this um, type of honor, they have to exceed state performance indicators. They have to demonstrate that they're exceeding state performance indicators when it comes to uh, specific student groups. And Edgemont Elementary has always had just a, an incredible emphasis on academic achievement. And we really appreciate all of the efforts of the faculty and staff and leaders of Edgemont Elementary to earn this award. We also want to congratulate both Timfew and Provo High Schools in their victories at their homecoming uh, games uh, this past weekend. Uh, there were many, many touchdowns scored, let's just put it that way. And so it was really fun to be at both events and to share in the excitement. I think that's one of the things that people often downplay in terms of what public education has to offer, just being a part of that energy and that experience of uh, being a part of homecoming, whether it's a parade or a performance or just being at the game, attending the dance. Um, these really are great opportunities for our students. And there are so many individuals at the school levels that put in a ton of time and effort to make these experiences really memorable for our students. We just, I just wanna thank them because I just, I think it really makes high school a, a, an incredible experience for our kids. I also want to thank everyone who participated in the Walk for Hope at Timpanogos Elementary on Saturday. This is about suicide awareness and just drawing attention to the matter so that we can be a lot more preventative in our efforts to uh, make sure that suicide is not an option for any of our students or anyone in our community for that matter. And that, and that people recognize that there are resources and lots of help available and that we see you and we care about you. And so just wanna thank all of those that were part of that event. At our board meeting last Friday, our board also talked about creating a community connections committee to really provide feedback to the board about our boundary and feasibility study, about major issues and topics that are coming forward uh, that the Board of Education is considering. We also talked about on Friday our Dixon and Timfew construction pieces and how we might finance those. And we're really narrowing down some of the options that we have for the Dixon site and wanting some feedback from different community members. We're also going to host another community night in uh, the Dixon area so that we can get feedback from our uh, community members about what they would like to see there. We are very excited about our district. We are doing lots of great things uh, across the district in terms of our construction projects. Uh, Wasatch Elementary is on schedule to be finished uh, right after Christmas so that we can move that school from its current location over to its new location. Uh, and we just have many, many individuals who are making all of these things possible. Also want you to note that I am very excited that our strategic plan has such an, uh, a laser-like focus on academic achievement as we want Provo City School District to become a destination district. We need to ensure that the academics that we provide and that those opportunities for students are among the very, very best in our entire state. And so I appreciate those that are putting that focus on that. We have uh, Provo High School who has applied for an Elevate grant to really zero in on student groups that are, are not performing in the same way that their peers are, but also to elevate the academic performance of all of our students across the board um, and to really emphasize that this is, this is our primary job in education is to make sure our students are ready uh, for their future opportunities. So really excited about the direction that we're headed, excited for this week. We have fall graduation um, for students that uh, didn't quite finish their diplomas with their Timfew and Provo and Independence cohorts, um, but have finished now by October 1st, so they are counted as a graduate, and so we're doing a special ceremony for them on Wednesday at 5 o'clock p.m. We are very excited about that. 
I will be out in a ton of schools this week, so I'm excited to report on that. I had the opportunity to be at Lakeview Elementary and Provo Peaks Elementary last week. This week, uh, I have a, a bunch more visits and can't wait to report to you on what's taking place in our classrooms across the district. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. Thanks, everybody.